I thought everything is possible if I can can show my own um, yeah, m m my own races is a good shooting and I felt strong on the tracks and I stayed healthy, everything is possible, but I never expected uh, five gold medals and one silver. Well, a very good afternoon and welcome to Hotfilsen in Eastern Tyrol. First event of the 2017 Biathlon World Championships, really? the mixed relay and a, the dancing strides of one Laura Dalma, Austria, dropping down the rankings, but still up with the leaders effectively, only 7.5 behind. Oh, I'm missing one or two, now that will send a, a wave of nervousness through the crowd here. So many Germans coming across the border to support their team. Two rounds, one target left, the same for Germany and Finland, finally. Uh, Finland's last target goes down. This is the pressure of the moment. The one who's surprising me the most is this lady, Dalmeyer. She has been so smooth all season. Now it's a world championship. She's struggling twice on her shooting. As most of the German fans expected, leading the way into the stadium. Her shooting far from perfect, but her skiing more than making up for the mistakes on the range. Here's the climb, and Martin Foucault can see Simon Shem. <laughs> Simon Shem nearly at the top of the climb. So the opening day producing all sorts of drama. Germany take the gold medal in the mixed relay. Delmar, who has a fantastic record at championships. She's already got three golds, two silvers, three bronze to the name from the world championship race. So Germany did, and it could be double success for them if Lara Dalmark can keep this sort of form going. Yeah, best group of the day so far for Lara Dalmar. Here comes oh. Lara Dalmar, 1.9 outside the best. Look at Dalmar's time, that's a brilliant time. She still needs five. Five out of five, and the lead should be hers. And she's got it down. The perfect start to the individual races for Lara Dalmar. Here she comes. Let's look at the margins. 16.5. She's gaining a second and a half every 150 metres. Incredible skiing. Here comes uh, Dalmar. Is it going to be gold number two from two races? It could well be. She's already got three golds to an aim at world championship level. 21 seconds. It's a phenomenal final lap from Lara Dalmar. 100 metres to go for Gabby Kukalama to take her first individual world title here in Hogfilson. Only four seconds to play with. Well, a very sporting shrug of the shoulders from Lara Dalmar. <laughs> and Kukalova gets it underway. Just a four-second lead over Dalmar, who is likely to get right into the slipstream of the Czech. They let those first rounds go at exactly the same time. Little uh, mechanical problem for Kukalova. A miss for Lara Dalmar, an uncharacteristic one. So she's on the penalty loop. And more problems for Kukalova. Still only got one target down. So, Dalmar away. Well, what a race so far, and Lara Dalmar already in control of this one. Everyone is gaining four or five seconds on Dalmar. That, to me, is an indication that the race leader is taking it at 85% to try and make sure of those last five targets. And if that's the case, she will be lightning quick over the last lap compared to everyone else. Five out of five, and the goal should be Dalmar's. One miss, and the door is open. Four out of four. She missed one on the first shoot. She hasn't made the same mistake again. And Lara Dalmar could well be bringing Germany their third gold medal. Here's the champion, Lara Dalmar, de deservedly so. Uh, Dalmar looking so, so chilled. She knows she's the hot favourite to secure this one. She wears the yellow bib as the overall World Cup leader. She wears the red bib as the individual World Cup leader. Now, Dalmar, one miss already. Look at the flags. Never have they been so still on this range since last Thursday's first race. Slightly surprised to see Delmar slower than Hammerschmidt, but of course that becomes that's because of that first miss earlier on. Should see five here. We do. That was uh, that last shot was what split the nine ring. Oh, that was a wonderful shot. Yep, that would have scored a lot of points in terms of summer Olympic shooting.
It's all over the place. Very low left that last one, but they've all gone down. She remains in the hunt for the gold medal. It will make it nine World Championship races in succession where she's been on the podium. One to go for Lara Dalmar. No mistake this time. 17.9 to play with, and she can see the finish. And Lara Dalmar can hear the cheers of the thousands upon thousands of German fans that have come to see her today. They've been rewarded. She looks for an extra fraction of a second and secures the win. So away go Germany. And it's Lara Dalmar who already has three gold medals from these championships. She'll equal Tora Berger if she can make it four today. Five targets and the gold should be theirs. One miss, and there's a little opportunity. There is the first miss. And, Whoa. and the second. She's human after all. She's uh, normally a machine on that rifle. But don't forget, three spare rounds, two targets. The other team's yet to strike. Czech Republic with Kukalovo go first. It's going to take a five out of five. And Dalmar, you would still back to outski most of the other teams there. Three out of three for Ukraine. Finally, the last target goes down for Germany. Ukraine have one remaining. The Czech Republic with Kukalova have cleared. Ukraine with Petrushna oh. are clear as well. France are in there. And the Italians <laughs> clear, but one spare required. The race is on. Dalmar has the lead, but it's not quite as substantial as it was at the start. 5.4 seconds. And Kukalova's got to get in touch in the next couple of hundred metres. She can't afford to leave it to the sprint finish. Well back. What a Golden Games uh, championships for Dalmar. Dalmar going into joint 11th place in the all-time list alongside Magdalena Forsberg in terms of medals hauled. But it's about Germany today. They take gold. Pedrushna, the silver medal, and France get the bronze. Uh, of course, Lara Dalmar running away, looking for records today. She could become the first person to take five golds at one single championship. She's on four, and she's the hot favourite to win the mass start. The Kukalava lane one, Dalmar two, We've got Dunkley in three and Durana Bear in four. Dunkley first to strike, as she was on the last stand. She's shooting a little bit quicker this week. Three out of three for the American. Four out of four. If five go down, yes! she's got a chance. Away she goes. Undoubtedly oh inspired by Bailey. Kukalava misses. Durana Bear misses. But Laura Dalmar, the fastest of them all, has gone clear. It's USA versus Germany for the gold and the silver. And Dalmar in the lead for the first time. Now Dunkley has got to do something excellent. Extra special. Five races in Oslo World Championships and five medals for Dalmar. Six races here in Hogfilsen and six medals. Five of them gold for Dalmar. Sensational history making. 18 down. 19 down. One shot between Bailey and a medal. Yes. It's all the way for Lowell Bailey. The American team, this is the best moment for the American biathlon team. Josh Thompson winning silver in this event way back in 87. And of course, Tim Burke, we mentioned earlier, taking silver in this event in 2013. They've been there or thereabouts, but this could be the best ever. Uh, we're going to get a, to see a lot of skiing from uh, Bailey. Still looks comfortable, Mike. I'm impressed by the way he's flowing. He's got another 2.8 oh. kilometres to survive. Is this bad news for the American losing that margin on the easier part of the course, Patrick? Now it's the hard part of the course. And now Bailey up towards 18.9 with 1,100 metres to go from the top of this climb. He's uh, got, still got the work rate and he's still got that two-second margin. Look it how is a possibility. <laughs> Look how many are giving him the support running up the top of that mountain he's yet to come into the stadium it's not going to happen i don't think for lowell bailey but it will be close 48 1 48 10 the time he's after bailey's recovered in the last 500 meters and he's made it wow. he's made it 3.3 seconds <laughs> and morovitz is the man who misses out lowell bailey the world individual <laughs> champion the celebrations will start and they'll run all the way through to sunday Whoa. 35 years old and he gets his first big win wow what an effort